Hey everyone, this video doesn't have much talking, so you're getting an overdub. I've been wanting to try utilizing smoke in my portraits for a while, and here I am, finally on my way to my first smoke bomb photo shoot. There are several challenges associated with using smoke bombs, the first of which is that you should probably avoid public spaces. So the plan for this shoot was to have it in a forest. And what a gorgeous forest this was, suggested by my wonderful model for this shoot, Megan. More of whom you will get to see shortly. Those of you who have tried their hand at woodland photography will be no strangers to how difficult it could be to find a decent composition. And while for our shoot, most of the distant background will be consumed in smoke, it is still definitely a strong consideration. After walking around for a good 40 minutes, we decided to settle on a spot with a couple of nice trees and a little leaf-covered path. The theme for the shot is basically a magical scene of witchy vibes, lingerie, forest and smoke. I have a decent number of smoke bombs with me, but each of them lasts only between a minute and a minute and a half. So if you hope to get the shot you have in mind, everything has to be set up beforehand. Lighting, composition, the model's posing and facial expression and position, as well as the direction and strength of the wind in regards to how it will affect the smoke movement. Most photos I see online that incorporate the use of smoke bombs will focus on getting the denser plumes of the smoke close to and around the model, but this is not the look I am aiming for. My focus here is the model and her outfit, and the smoke is an atmospheric, supporting addition, and so the plan is to get her walking through some less dense, more dispersed smoke, preferably in front of as well as behind her. And don't forget to show the model what needs adjusting. Alright, let's get some smoke going. And here is where the wind levels come in. If there is a bit of a breeze, with the smoke bombs I'm using, it would be sufficient to set one down 3 to 5 meters upwind from the model to achieve the desired density of smoke coming across the scene. However, nature was not on our side, and as soon as we popped the first smoke bomb, the wind slowed to about 1 mile per year. This meant we needed the only help we had there, which was Vanda doing the filming, to also run around with the smoke bomb. Massive thanks to her for making both the video and the photo shoot possible. The slow moving air also meant that the smoke hung around for ages and had us worried someone would see it and think that there's a forest fire. So we ended up having little breaks in between shooting. Here is us using one of those breaks productively. Okay, let's go for some colored smoke, starting with purple looking black.
As you can see from these raws, the red smoke didn't really suit the theme. It's just too many colors. After running out of white smoke bombs, we decided to use the last of the sunlight to take a few shots without smoke. Last shot of the day. That's it for this one. Subscribe to catch me in the next one. See ya.